Hey everyone, Creative Inners here and welcome to another beautiful glossy looking design and I hope you will like it. So the very first step is to design the background and we will use a dark color scheme here. So you know how to fill a color in the background. You just have to go to fill and select the dark color and it will fill that color. Now comes the second point. We have to design the frame so what is frame by frame I mean the rounded rectangle that you have just seen in the final output so that's the frame so now we have to design it so make it uh, uh, make it fit at the center make sure it's well aligned so I've changed the background color to dark gray and now select the rounded rectangle it increase the width of the outline and fill gradient color and make sure it's radial gradient so we have used two gradient stops to fill inside this rounded rectangle and you can see the output here it looks fine Now we have to play with the shadow effect here. So apply a nice shadow effect here, increase the blurness, play with the transparency effect, the size and the distance as well. So totally up to you. Make sure it looks natural and very smooth. It shouldn't be harsh. And you can play with the color as well. You can select a different color here. You can try white or a dark color as well because the background is dark gray so you can select a black shadow color as well uh, black is already selected by default like this so so you can now adjust the gradient as well make sure it looks it is looking fine so the background is light and foreground is dark so now let's fill a gradient outline we will use two gradient stops on the first we will fill black color on the second gradient stop we will fill a light color move both the gradient stops to the center and change the direction to uh, rotate it diagonally so now you can see the effect here it looks fine now duplicate this shape remove its outline now we have these two layers and you can align them at the middle and at the center now we will fill a picture on this layer at the top so you can use the office 65 inbuilt stock images options and you can select a nice image here related to the topic of your presentation so let's go with this the camera lens it looks a bit stretched and we will fix it later but before that let's send it to back and on the top layer we will increase the transparency so that the background layer is visible on on both the green stops we have increased the transparency now we will select the background layer and for that you have to move the front layer away by dragging it like this and select the background layer and adjust the offset values offset top and this way you can see the camera lens is now looking fine and our frame is almost ready so I'm just fixing the background color now in sync with the image color. We want a much darker background now. And for that, I have changed it to dark color, something on the you know, bluish side. And I've changed and it reversed the gradient stop. So we have completed two steps. Let's 
move on to our next step that is light reflection now we will add some night nice you know reflection effect here to make it look more glossy and to add some depth so for that you have to insert this rectangle shape and rotate it by you know certain degrees like this and after subtracting with the background layer you will get a shape like this and adjust the transparency level on the second grid stop and you can see it looks like some light reflection is falling on it and it looks uh, very realistic so now you can see it's coming out really nice now duplicate it rotate it and adjust it on the left side further flip it vertically and you will get a shape like this now we have to reverse the gradient stops as well and further you know increase the transparency on the second grid stop so it should look minimal like this as you can see on the screen so now comes the fourth part adding content and text styling this part will take most of our time here but uh, the base of the slide is ready the main the actual slide is ready and if you really liked it please subscribe to our channel and if you want to support us please join the membership so there are three levels in the membership so you can pick any membership you want and that way you will support us and we will come out with more such beautiful videos regarding the text options you know how to fill the text it's pretty easy insert a text box write some text and pick a nice font you can go to google uh, fonts to find some amazing fonts there so i generally use monsterat it's a decent font and one of the most used google font i use it in across all across my presentations so you can use different text styles here you can add text at the bottom on the left like you know if you are creating a report so you can add the report version vertically so these small elements you know make any presentation look aesthetically very pleasing and beautiful and and you can make a winning presentation so place it at the middle of the slide align middle so it will adjust it at the middle this option now again insert a text box so by just looking at this slide you can create multiple options out of it like if you use this frame as your first slide and add a small call to action on the second on the second slide change the image something related to second point and then add that text over it and you can add a series of calls to action at the bottom corner of this frame so clicking on call to action one will uh, land you to the first slide clicking on the second button will land you to the second slide so that way you can create an uh, you know application kind of thing so you can think of multiple scenarios and ideas based on this slide to create a complete template out of it. So I've added some dummy text here. You can add 
like some stats some fonts using different fonts because number for numbers you can you can use a different font family like agency roboto even Lato will also look good for the numbers and there is also one font it's called impact that's also very good here you can write uh, financial year if it's uh, a report and you can add small calls to action so i'll place these at the top right but there is reflection so we cannot see it while designing so that's why i'm placing these text items here once done i will move them to the top now select all these so these are languages so distribute it horizontally and adjust the font size and select it so i've grouped these together for grouping you have to select the items that you want to group press ctrl plus g and that way you can group the items so we have added text items now let's add one more text item here because we have some place left at the top so we can fill that place otherwise that place will look empty so you can do some branding here or you can add the main topic of your slide now insert this round rectangle again reduce its roundedness we will only keep its outline and select a bluish dark outline remove its fill send to back increase the transparency of the outline and you can see and you can see here this outline is looking very fine and it gives a nice structure to this presentation now let's add a small menu the idea that I was talking about you can create multiple slides and you can click on the menu button at the top to jump to the next slides and you can follow the same frame on the next slides as well and just keep on changing the image and the text and if we talk about the ideas you can think of a nice animation as well so that's totally up to you and also you can share your experiments with me make sure these are well distributed you can use the distribute option under the align menu now comes the last part although the slide design is complete so this is something you know additional that I always love to do I, I just try always try to do things differently so that's why let's increase its font size and place it at the bottom and send to back and we will increase its transparency so that this text looks so that this text doesn't take the you know center stage it's only for the subconscious mind it is center aligned and let's change its color to something dark or increase its transparency so that it is not that visible we want our 
focus on the main content. Now comes the last part, adding, adding the call to action here. So you can add a link to the website or the mockup or anything you want to showcase. Edit text and write a beautiful call to action. Beautiful, I mean engaging. It should have an action like discover, learn more, explore more, find out more, read more. Hit like, subscribe. And you can add an arrow button as well. So you can pick it from the icons tab next with the images. So we have selected the top arrow, change its color, rotate it right by 90 degrees, reduce its size, and let's place it inside this button. You can add a nice animation here as well, like on click this arrow should move a bit. So you can try these things. Also I've changed, it, changed the color of this frame as well to dark blue to match with the background. And now you can see it's looking really beautiful. So let's view our final output. I hope you will like it. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership, hit like and share and we want to reach to 200,000 subscribers. So let's aim for that. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching this channel, please subscribe and do not forget to download this beautiful presentation slide from the Cheat Drive link provided in the video description.